Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. So I'm going to talk about the maths facts of the number 21. So the first question is 21 an odd or an even number? Well, 21 is an odd number because it's not in the two times table. Um, let's do the factors of 21. So let's start off with our ones. So 1 goes into 21 21 times. 2 doesn't go into 21. Uh, but 3 does. 3 goes 7 times. Uh, 4 doesn't go into 21. 5 doesn't go into 21. 6 doesn't go into 21. And then we're back to 7. So these are all our factors here. So we've got 1, 3, 7 and 21. Our next question then is 21 a prime number? Well the answer to that is no. Because a prime number has two factors and 21 has four factors. Our next question is 21 a square number? Well if it's a square number we should be able to square root 21 to give a whole number. So let's check that on the calculator. So the square root of 21, it doesn't give that whole number, does it? So it's 4.6 to one decimal place. So answer that is no. So again, is 21 a cube number? So again, if it's a cube number, we should be able to cube root 21 to give a whole number. So let's check that on the calculator. So the cube root of 21 is 2.8 so again the answer to that is no because it's not a whole number uh, what is 21 in Roman numerals so we can write 21 as X X and I and what are the other facts of 21 well 21 is in the Fibonacci sequence so if we start off with the numbers 1 and 1 add those together which is 2 then add the next the last two terms 1 and 2 is 3 add the last two terms again which is 5 add the last two terms again which is 8 add the last two terms 8 add 5 is 13 Add the last two terms again, 13 add 8 is 21. So as you can see, 21 is in the Fibonacci sequence. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.